hey guys welcome back again and uh, in this video i'm gonna show you how to fix Yozo Amateur Crash on launching so let's get started now guys i play this game in my Yozo Amateur minecraft so i play this game and uh, wait for some time as you can see Yozo Amateur is launching the game but Yozo has crashed now i open it again and i try again so as you can see guys my user is crashed so guys to fix this issue open it again and go to emulation and go to configuration and uh, go to graphics no not here uh, go to debugging Guys, uh, there are some reasons uh, of crashing a user emulator in your PC. So uncheck all options from here. Uncheck it, uncheck it, uncheck it, uncheck it, uncheck it, and uncheck it. And okay. Now, guys, you can play this game uh, in your user emulator. Uh, but uh, but if this problem does not solve, then disable mods. For this game in your user editor, right click, go to properties, and uh, this update uh, will not work uh, for this game. Then I disable it, and okay. Now I play this game. So, guys, uh, this is the first solution uh, of crashing problem for user editor in your PC, and second solution is now wait for some time. So as you can see, game is working. So I have another solution. Now close it. Second solution of this problem, guys. Go to your search bar and type your msconfig. msconfig and press enter and go to boot option. Go to advanced option and uncheck maximum memory so i have already unchecked and check this option and select big number from here because my pc is four core then i select four and ok and apply and ok and restart your pc and third solution of this problem open your user emulator and go to file open user folder open keys folder if you don't have keys folder then create a new folder from here but I have already keys folder as you can see so I delete it open keys folder and you should have prod keys okay as you can see prod keys if you don't have then go to your keys and paste here and it's done guys close it and close it and uh, and other best solution of this problem if you are using Vulkan for your user emulator sometimes we use old drivers for our GPU then if you are using Vulkan in user emulator then please update your drivers for your GPU so I show you my uh, drivers install drivers for my GPU and system information and here is driver version already installed in my PC as you can see guys if you are using old drivers then please update your drivers for your GPU so I have already updated my drivers and if you are using little drivers for your GPU then go to 3d settings and check this option select performance from here and check this option click on apply and go to manage 3d settings go to performance select from here performance 
and scroll down. Go to Power Management Mod. Select from here Prefer Maximum Performance. Scroll down and Texture Filtering Quality. Select from here High Performance. Now click on Apply and it's done. Now close it and for more settings go to emulation again configuration and go to general and select multi-core cpu emulation from here so i have already checked go to graphics and check these options and select from here wall select gpu decoding and resolution 1x Go to advanced. If you are using Wolfram, then disable OpenGL only. Okay. Disable use VSync OpenGL if you are using Wolfram. And okay. Go to the game you want to play in your user emulator. Right click, go to properties. And general, check this option multi core CPU emulation system CPU. Select auto from here graphics check these options there should be same setting guys like walking from here like GPU regarding resolution 1x go to advance uncheck it and select high from here okay emulation configuration and CPU select auto from here now guys you can play any switch games in your user emulator without crashing issues so hope you like this video if you like so please don't forget to subscribe my channel thanks for watching bye bye